I'm Mohamed Saleh with Ibrahim from Mauritania. I'm a former diplomat, ex-spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Office between 2014 and 2018. Now, I'm a founder and director of the think tank, the Mauritanian Center for Research on Development and Innovation. First of all, I would like to thank our friends of the Mauritanian British Business Council, MBBC in London, as a platform providing bilateral cooperation and promoting development, trade, knowledge transfer, and cultural relations in the UK. Two, I thank them for the interest in the Sahel subregion for giving me the opportunity to introduce you a preview on Mauritania's chairmanship of the G5 Sahel since February 2020 to February 2021. Please allow me, therefore, a few minutes to say very briefly a few words about the highlight, but also the contrast that marked the Mauritanian chairmanship of the G5 Sahel. This presentation, which requested by MBBC, is focused exclusively on the development aspect at the level of the G5 Sahel. At first, I will give a little briefing on the Sahel region, its story, then on the G5 Sahel process, its objective and its mission, mission main mission, before sketching and finish the assessment of the Mauritanian chairmanship of the G5 Sahel, and to end with the major perspective and the contrast that remain to be free. Just uh, so, so, some more, this is no, no longer the Sahel region is semi arid zone in Africa that makes the southern edge of the Sahara Desert from the region to its south, which enjoy more and regular rainfall than the Sahara and the Sahel, which stretches from the Atlantic coast of Mauritania in the west to the Red Sea coast of Sudan or more to Somalia in the east. The Sahel cover an area about 10 million 10 million square kilometers that include 15 modern African countries with the estimated population of 150 million, which more than 50% is illiterate and over than 14% lives in poverty. The, the region suffers political instability, extremism and terrorism, and the lack of good governance. Historically, however, the Sahel was an economic power house with kingdom and empire, such as ancient Ghana, situated in the south, southern modern Mauritania and the north of Mali, flourishing because gold, medieval, and trans-Sahara trade. The arrival of European, such as Portuguese, the Dutch, the French, the British, at the end of the Middle Ages, shifted the economic balance toward the Atlantic coast and the Gulf of Guinea, while in St. Sisi's, such as Tombuktu, Shengiti, Walata, and suffered and were ultimately abandoned. The European imperial expansion of the region in 19th and 20th century did not lead to development as occurred in the coastal region of Africa. When finally the independence came in the 1960s, the Sahel region, now divided in many new independent countries, continued to face marginalization and poverty, leading to organized crime, gang, of smuggler and terrorist group became established in Sahelian society as the ecology continued to deteriorate, making people even more vulnerable. This is, for, this is about the Sahel region in general, but what about the G5 Sahel? To deal here, five Sahelian nations, Mauritania, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Chad, 
created the G5 side in Waxhaw in February 2014. An agreement convention confirming this creation was officially signed on December 2014. The G5 Sahel countries are motivated by their common desire to strengthen and develop further the strong links forged by history, geography, and culture to combat the rise in insecurity following the event of September 11 and the fallout of the Libyan civil war following the Arab Spring in 2011 that brought more armed groups and arms of various states in the Sahel region covered by the G5 Sahel. The main objective of this organization was at first guarantee development and security condition in this space of member countries, provide the strategic framework for intervention to improve the living condition of the population, Combine development and security supported by democracy and good governance in the framework of mutually beneficial region and international cooperation and promote exclusive and sustainable development. In short, this is about pulling the resources of member states in order to, improve, to provide a political security and economic response to the challenge they face. Several budgets have been set up of, to manage the decision-making capacity of the G5 Sahel. The, first, the Conference of Head of State, the Council of Ministers, Executive Secretary in Russia, and its supported budgets, including the Defense and Security Committee and the National Action Coordination Committees. To improve regional security, the five member of state have set up a dedicated army force called Joint Giant Force of the G5 Sahel, approved by the African Union and anonymously adopted by the United Nations Security Council on June 2017 by its resolution number 2359 and 2391. With the support of the international community, this new generation of multinational special force designed to adapt to a symmetric conflict situation has been deployed gradually since 2017 into the region to improve security and stability. As stability and security cannot be promoted, and established by military means only, and therefore the G5 Sahel put in place a security and development strategy and a prior investment program, PIP, focused on governance, security, economic resilience, and infrastructures. To support the aim of G5 Sahel, SDS and P and IP, 14 projects have been selected for this phase 2019 to 2021, with a total cost just under 2 billion of euro. In order to speed, in order to speed up the SDS implementation process, a new integrated security and development framework for action has just been adopted by the G5 states it's aimed to improve intervention by identifying rapid and appropriate action to be carried out at the level of security and development component in priority fragile area and which will encompass of the same time the humanitarian dimension, governance and all aspects related to security and promoting a climate, a climate of peace and harmony in the region. The PIP is supported by several partners, including the United Nations, the African Union, the European Union, and as a 12 friendly nation throughout the Sahel Alliance in Brussels, which is the head of fundraising for the G5 members. To create, to create a greater political cohesion between the G5 Sahel nation, a rotating chairmanship between the 
five heads of state was created. Now, what about the Mauritanian chairmanship of G5 Sahel? Since February 2020, the Mauritanian chairmanship has worked to build on past experience while seizing, taking the advantage by the new integrated strategic framework in order to consolidate the achievements and strengthen the effectiveness, the effectiveness of the same process. First, the Mauritanian chairmanship initiated a roadmap entitled Youth and Hope and proposed a three-dimensional approach focused on security, education, and development. To implement this, the G5 Sahel created the Emergency Development Program, EDP. But why Youth and Hope for Mauritania? The population of the five countries are expected to nearly double by 2014. However, almost half of the population is under the age of 15 years, which is almost 14 million people in, 19, in 2019. Because also, the youth is the major force for the change in the future. Among the ADP initiatives are a cash transfer program to improve the education of children, projects to support the empowerment of vulnerable populations in insecure areas, to support them with health, education, and water service, as well as vocational training, creating job opportunity, especially for youth and women. All the initiatives are an electrification project for rural border area between the G5 Sahel members based on the desert power, an initiative to distribute solar kits adapted to remote rural area in partnership with the Sahel Alliance committing himself more than 218 million funding for the, for the Africa Development Bank. But in the Sahel, the key of development is water. This is why the Great Green Wall of the Sahel has been identified an important instrument in this report. It's boosted on 11 January, last 11 January, at the Paris Planet Conference chaired by President Macron and in attendance with the Mauritanian President, Mr. Ghazwani, in the form to funding pledge of more than 14 billion of euros in the new funding from the African Development Bank, France, and the World Bank. It should be noted that the Executive Secretary of the Pan-African Agency of the Great Wall, also based in Makshot, has already signed a memorandum of understanding with Trans-Africa Pipeline, trade in Canada. The aim of the project is to provide potable water produced by desalination of sea water using a renewable energy to assist of the implementation of the green, green wall and provide water to local communities. In addition, the emergency development program, of which pillar number one concern water access infrastructure, is committed to providing access to water to pastoralists and the sanitation infrastructure in the border area of G5 Sahel member in partnership with the Sahel Alliance. The G5 intends to improve its transport links between the five member states, further by better cross-border road infrastructure, restore and repair railways line in the region, as well look at the feasibility of construction and new railways line as the Nwakshot in Jamina Railways project, with the help of funding from the Arab Bank for Development in Africa. There are no longer term plans to create a G5 Sahel Airlines and integrated air network between the member states of the G5, but in the meantime, there is program to improve international, national, and regional effort within the region, supported by the Arab Bank for development in Africa. On a people level, the G5 
Sahel is looking to remove the roaming charge telephone with the G5 Sahel area and has held discussion with the prefix operator Intelsat to examine cooperation in this area. For the creation of local job, especially for youth, the G5 has Sahel has finished an action plan with 10 specific programs and has come for the involvement and cooperation of the chambers of commerce and employers organization of the G5 members. But what about the level of communication for peace? The declaration, the Maksha declaration on January 22 stated the role of Islam in Africa is to promote tolerance and moderation as reminders for extremism and internal struggles throughout the promotion of political, religious and social dialogue at all levels with the support of the religious leaders, political actors and civil society. The G5 Sahel will soon launch a youth radio, Radio Jeunesse, in cooperation with the International Organization of Francophony. However, the domination of the use of French language in the broadcasting of this radio station as such as a service, service as a vector of sharing and communication, but it's also a source of problem. This domination use of French Nevertheless, the present French language nevertheless presents a negative, even counterproductive aspect because it gives a simplest alibi to the extremists as if it would favor for the language of disbeliever to irritate the cultural reflex of the population of the side, which are historically instead of Arab Muslim tradition area. Hence, the importance to giving local language and the Arabic language a more important places of diffusion in this youth radio in order to counter the allegation of extremism. On the conclusion, overall, I would like to say that despite the various constraints linked to the COVID-19 pandemic, which prevented or delayed the realization of several activities, the executive secretary worked in the, the Mauritanian chairmanship during this period on the institutional, on the, the institutional strengthening of the G5 Sahel, the implementation of its program, and the mobilization, the mobilization of the financial resources. In addition, the incurring of the G5 in the regional political landscape is now consolidated and the partnership has been strengthened with sub-region, regional and international organization. However, the main challenge remains the search of resource, finance resource for the, the first priority of project included in the priority investment program of G5 Sahel. Finally, I can conclude that the implementation cycle of the activity by the executive secretary of the G5 side into the Mauritanian chairmanship was largely affected both by the delay of donor in terms of mobilization as a fund committed in Maksha during the G5 summit of the Sahel donor and by contrast of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, I hope that this brief presentation has contributed to give you a general idea for measuring the process made by the G5 side in the Mauritanian chairmanship at the level of one of its two major and strategic dimensions, namely the development, despite the different challenge that remain to be met. Thank you. Thank you. Uh... Mohamed Salak, uh, you, you, that was a very interesting contribution and a lot of material for a lot later q and A. I I just want to add that, you know, because you jumped in very quickly, that you and I know each other since 2016, 
uh, when we were talking about uh, the green, the great green wall and and the yeah. um, and the associated Trans Africa Pipeline Water Pipe Project. Uh, yeah. I know that you have a long, distinguished <laughs> diplomatic career, and in, in including uh, to the, in the formation of the G5 Sahel. So you are a very committed person in, to the G5 Sahel ideas and and, and aims, and. Um, and uh, at, at that stage, you were the director of communications of the department of, of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Cooperation, as well as yeah. official spokesman. But I would like to invite now my, our director general uh, of the MBBC, Roger Nunn, to lead the Q and A. Great, thank you very much, thank Peter, you. and uh, thank you very much, uh, Mohammed. Uh, as Peter said. Uh, very insightful remarks from somebody who uh, is, is has been intimately connected with uh, with G5 Sahel. So uh, uh, really good to uh, to hear uh, such insights uh, from so close to the centre of the of the grouping. Um, I'm going to open it up now for uh, questions uh, from uh, all of you that are participating, Mohammed. Um, uh, climate change is clearly something that is affecting uh, a lot of people in a, in a lot of countries. Um, to, to what extent is, is climate change something that um, the, the G is on the G5's agenda, that the, that the G5 uh, Sahel discusses? Um, and um, what have you been doing about climate change so far? I, I think the, the experience, uh, you know, the experience of G5 Sahel is uh, uh, an uh, uh, organization. It's uh, historically the, the, there is no time uh, to walk in for this uh, young organization, very young organization in the sub region. But I, I think for Mauritania, we, we, we consider. Uh, uh, that the G5 is the maybe is the baby of Mauritania to, to protect him, to improve him, to, to try to, to, to consolidate this uh, work. But uh, unfortunately, uh, during the president, the chairmanship, it's, one, it's just one year. There, there is a relative. Um, uh, presidency of chairmanship of the organization of G5 Sahel, but just for one year for each head of state. Unfortunately, for the uh, experience of Mauritania, uh, uh, the, the, the main context were the uh, pandemic COVID 19. Uh, we have in the agenda a lot of a lot of uh, work and uh, activity well planned, but uh, with the context of uh, the pandemic, uh, COVID, no more delay, or more delay, or more uh, ineffectiveness of this uh, activity. But the experience of the maybe the, the, the essential of this experience of five countries of the region area. The, the, uh, maybe the, the poor countries of the Sahel, the more poor countries of Sahel, uh, to decide to join this, their effort to in face of instability, to face the uh, 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 contribute to development, the de development. Uh, people in this area uh, is an a, a great political de de decision. It's a uh, political decision uh, is very, very important to release the objective and the aim of uh, G5 Sahel. But I, I think the G5 Sahel now is in the good road. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Mohammed. Uh, who would like to uh, ask a question? 
Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Bill Law, the editor of Arab Digest. Thank you, Ambassador, for your presentation, which uh, touched on many points and, and caused me to have many questions. But um, I would like, if you could, to give, uh, um, to sketch out a little more the security situation, uh, the extent to which um, groups like ISIS and various other extremist terrorist organizations are creating problems of destabilization that are making it very difficult for the ambitious and worthy plans of the Sahal group uh, to be carried forward. Thank you. It's a, it's a very, very important uh, question. But now, for the experience of G5, uh, unfortunately, we, we can't to, to, to assist uh, for to uh, more re re positive results in the fighting uh, of ter terrorism and instability. Unfortunately, we, we can't uh, to say that. Uh, uh, because the, the effort of G5 Sahel uh, in the area uh, meeting, importantly, meeting the, the localization of uh, uh, extremist uh, movement in the, in the Oriental uh, Arab, in the Syria and Iraq, uh, um, throughout Libya in the region of Sahel, of, uh, in Mali, not, not in particular in the border, common border in Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger. But uh, th there, is, there is no means that the, the effort. Uh, uh, and the result for the Sahel, for the G5 Sahel is uh, not fair. But the international dome, international geopolitical dome uh, uh, between the localization of uh, the, the, the extremism forces uh, to the region of Sahel may be uh, the, the, the time is not is not good. The international time for G, for G5 Sahel was isn't good for this for this opportunity. Uh, now, in the media, we, we can see uh, more and more. Uh, Unfortunately, more and more operation, more and more uh, killed uh, person in the Sahel in, uh, in this uh, uh, area. But it, it isn't the problem of the of the of the initiative of the the goodness of the initiative of the five Sahel. But it's an international dawn who is not benefit for effort of G5 Sahel. Now, the G5 Sahel have not no choice. Uh, we have we have two 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 ways only of the G5 Sahel voluntarism politic for these people, for the leader of this people, this community, and to uh, in, to improve their effort to join their uh, forces fighting poverty and fighting uh, extremism and the terrorism, or maybe we, we can to assist at uh, the inclusion of Sahel region. That that is uh, this inclusion the. The inclusion of this area is not, not not benefit for this area only, but it isn't benefit for Europe also. Thank you very much, um, Tim Morris. Did I see you had your hand up? Yes, you did, Tim. Um, 
I am Tim. I, was, I had the honor to be the British ambassador in, uh, to Mauritania uh, from 2008 to 2012. And uh, at the time and since then, I think the, the interest from the UK in the region of the Sahel and indeed in Mauritania has, has grown steadily from a very, very low base. The Sahel is not, uh, has not historically been a part of, of the world which uh, British people and British business knew very much about. And that is increasing and Mauritania's leadership uh, through this initiative is, is very, very significant and of course has our, our government's support. My, my question was really uh, a business one. Uh, what, what can we all do together to uh, demonstrate that the Sahel is a region where private sector investment will be worthwhile um, and in the end will get a return. Um, because I think many have an image in our minds that the argument for development is very strong, the argument for aid funds is very strong. Um, you spoke about the uh, pipeline project, which is very exciting. But uh, what do you think might be the opportunities which, which we can explain to, to British investors, whether they are financial investors or people in energy, power or agriculture, for example? Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador. I'm happy to see you. Uh, I remember I, I meet you in uh, Rabat, in Morocco, for uh, an international Indeed, indeed I will remember well, yes. Yeah, yeah, on Africa, in security in Africa, maybe uh, 2018. Th thank you for your question and your uh, participation. Uh, uh, this is a great question. What is in all effort of G5 Sahel, what is the real places of business? But the business maybe is the, 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 the real feature, the real benefit feature of, of community, of the community here. But not only for the community in the Sahel, but also for the world, for private uh, sector in the, in the world, for partnership business and partnership in every world, not, notably in, uh, in Europe. Uh, why, why not in the British? Because the British is lead the activity the, now, the leader, while BP is the leader of uh, uh, extractive project uh, uh, of natural gas. We, we have, uh, it's a great opportunity for Mauritania. It's a great opportunity for the neighbor of Mauritania as Senegal and uh, Mali and other uh, countries for G G5 side. Uh, I, I think the, uh, the chairmanship of uh, Mauritanian chairmanship on this question uh, as is, uh, we have a real uh, uh, voluntary politic, uh, uh, vol uh, politic vol voluntary on these uh, issues. Uh, during the, this period, the chairmanship, Mauritanian chairmanship, has uh, working to improve the relationship between chambers of commerce, the union of chamber of commerce and business organization in this side. Now we, we, we have an uh, union, one uh, a new, a new union of the Chamber of Commerce in G5 Sahel. We can talk in about, we can uh, keep contact, we can uh, talk in about uh, uh, business, we can talk in about project, we can talk in about uh, uh, opportunity of business uh, throughout the uh, union of uh, G5 uh, Chamber of Commerce. Uh, welcome. Uh, really, really in Mauritania, we, 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 we need all this. We need all the force of partnership on the neighbor European uh, 
and uh, uh, to try to develop a real a real win-win partnership a real win-win partnership uh, uh, in the uh, latter scenario are possible uh, the, the in the Mauritania and G5 so we have a lot of a lot of resources natural resources uh, to be explored to be uh, exploited to be uh, uh, it's a, I think it's a good opportunity for uh, Mauritania in particular uh, as uh, as um, as the Mauritania is uh, a portal a great portal of the Sahel is the cost of Atlantic coast uh, it, it may be this is an opportunity for Mauritania to improve this uh, strategic and geopolitical uh, uh, geopolitical situation. Thank you very much. Who would uh, who would like to ask the uh, next question? Hello, hi, um, Michael Dennison from BP. Um, I'm just asking. Um, you are um, concerned by the French review of their commitment. How do you expect France's profile with, with the G5 to evolve over the next year? I understand that they're. Um, reviewing their financial commitments and thinking about uh, perhaps repositioning themselves potentially. Do you have a view on the French approach to the G5? Um, I also have another one. I joined a little bit late, unfortunately, and it's about uh, desert to power. The Did we touch on this, Roger, or not? Okay. Um, so the, the initiative to uh, uh, build re renewable energy capability in the region is, is of interest as well, because, as I understand it, uh, some money was set aside through the Africa Development Bank to uh, look at uh, potentially some solar projects in the region. So that's more on the development side. So two questions there, if that's OK. I, I think, yes, um, the G5... Uh, the G5 area, maybe we, we have, we sharing the common relation, the five, the, the five countries sharing uh, uh, common relation, uh, uh, historic, historical relation with uh, France and uh, the, 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 we consider that the French uh, 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 is a main um, major actor in international uh, and international relation and diplomatic and military relation with the, each of the five countries of G5 Sahel. Uh, but we we we, we think uh, I'm i now I, I, we think. The 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 uh, the opportunity to the Sahelian people is uh, to cooperate with uh, 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 French, British, all European Union, European, all other nations to find to find. Um, uh, a solution for the, the, the problem. Maybe now some uh, uh, contradiction of uh, geopolitical uh, relation in the area of uh, Maghreb Arab. We know the Sahel. We have the dual Maghreb Sahel, Sahel uh, Maghreb Arab, uh, and. Maybe some uh, some problem of problem of political historic uh, of colonialism with the French of some country of in the Maghreb Arab. Some of this uh, so, some of this history, the, the situation of uh, Sahel of Sahel country and uh, uh, Sahel uh, the G5 Sahel, but. In the level of politics, 
the the choice is uh, is working to to cooperate with uh, French to disp all disponible all other disponible countries European countries uh, to uh, find a solution for this the the the, the Sahel instability and for the Sahel uh, terrorism uh, uh, concern. Now, I, I can tell you maybe that the, if we see the, the, co the cooperation, the, uh, the asymmetric cooperation between uh, the, the moment and the force of uh, terrorism and the, the area of Maghreb and Sahel, we, 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 we can know what, what we need as what we need as dynamic to create a real dynamic and real cooperation between uh, st state in this region and between the neighbor in, in, in Europe. There is a, a, a good cooperation between, now in the Sahel, there is good cooperation between uh, extremists, terrorists, uh, uh, criminal, uh, crime organization, and uh, traffic, tra trafficking. But we, have, we need the good cooperation, the good uh, partnership, the, uh, the states, the country, and the neighbor in uh, in Europe and Maghreb. The, the 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 French will be uh, will be a joy and an important uh, important uh, uh, impact on this situation. But we we need the cooperation in the Sahel uh, open to all other nation and all other European. I think the Sahel Alliance, this is the, the Sahel Alliance as a structure of coordination in Brussels for fundraising uh, for the project of uh, Sahel, Sahel, maybe Sahel project, maybe will uh, this structure of Sahel Alliance will be opened, uh, should be opened for the UK for uh, Canada, maybe for uh, United States, uh, for other uh, other countries, maybe for Russia, uh, for other countries who will contribute contribute in the situation of the side. Uh, thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, anybody else would like to ask a question? I know I've got Bill pending. Um, any anybody else uh, would like to unmute and ask a question? Thanks, thanks, Soldier. Um, I wanted to ask about Israel and uh, in, in, in part <clears throat> in relation to Western Sahara and Mauritania's position on that. As well, uh, Mauritania in the past had diplomatic relations with Israel in view of uh, some of the points about security. Uh, does it make sense for Mauritania to return to full diplomatic relations with uh, Israel? And if so, would the Israelis be a useful ally in the fight against uh, terrorism? Uh, in, the, in the large opinion and the, the, maybe the press and media in Mauritania, uh, sometimes we, we, we see or we hear some debate about uh, the possibility or the opportunity for Mauritania to uh, join uh, uh, a new relation. But you, you know, Mauritania have in the past uh, bilateral relation with Israel. There is no problem about that. Uh, but now, uh, I think at the level, uh, I don't know at the diplomatic or the official level what they what they think about about the subject uh, really but, but as independent of reflection or they think um, I, I see that uh, the the situation of Mauritania as I told now between the Sahel and the Maghreb region 
now see we have uh, the Sahara, uh, the um, Western Sahara. We have unfortunately the, the conflict to, to 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 remain now. Why we, we, we don't know. There is uh, there is a problem. I think the interest of uh, Mauritania is uh, two two things. Uh, the first one is the stability of the state, the choice political, the major choice political in diplomacy and in, in activity, uh, governmental uh, active, uh, action should be focused on the stability to prevent the stability, security of the, the country in this, in this time and in this uh, 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 circumstance. But the, the, the two, the main important thing is to opportunity to, to take to take opportunity for Mauritania to take opportunity or, 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 or political opportunity business opportunity uh, it's uh, the, 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 the second main, main problem and uh, I see the evolution of the we, now we have a new uh, president elected last year uh, the, the, the political uh, uh, opinion and the sand will be uh, moved, uh, will be moved. We, we don't know what happened in maybe in the three or five uh, months. Uh, I, I think the, the important thing is to, to start to guarantee the opportunity, the, the good choice, political choice, to guarantee the stability for Mauritania and to enjoy of opportunity, business opportunity and new business. As exploitation of natural gas and other opportunities. Thank you. Thank you were very much, Mohammed. Does anybody uh, have one last question that they would uh, like to ask? No, it appears we're all done. So before I hand over to Peter to close out the meeting, just two things from me. Um, one, Mohammed, I'd like to give you my personal thanks for um, taking the time to, uh, to 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 talk to us and our and our friends at the M members of the MBBC, um, very insightful remarks from somebody who's been deeply involved in, in G5 Sahel, thank so you thank for you very much indeed for, uh, for that, thank I you. personally thank you for your... took, took a huge thank amount you, out, really. out of this, uh, this, this conversation. Secondly, and uh, differently, um, MBBC Parish News, uh, the next event will be at this same time, 12 o'clock GMT on Wednesday the 3rd of March. Uh, our friends and founder members from BP are going to give us uh, a project update uh, through their new regional uh, manager mm -hmm. for West Africa, uh, Emil Ismailov. Mm -hmm. um, that will be a, a two-part event. Uh, the first part will be a general briefing to uh, all members and friends on, on BP's uh, project in Mauritania and Senegal. And then the second part will be for MBBC members only, where Emil will be happy to have uh, more in-depth conversations, explore some more areas and some avenues of the project and, and other matters that uh, members yeah. may wish to, uh, to discuss with him. We're just finalising the exact format um, of, that, uh, of that event at the moment, but in essence, it'll be two parts, one for everybody, second part for members only. And it will start at uh, 12 noon on the Wednesday, the 3rd of March. So thank you, uh, thank you from me. Uh, and I'll hand over now to, uh, to uh, Peter to close out the event. Peter. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much, Roger. Um, when, do, when will I see you again, uh, Mohammed Selek? Uh, well, maybe in, in June. In yeah. June, the MBBC has scheduled a, a multi-sector trade mission. So hopefully, inshallah. yes, inshallah. inshallah, we will meet because yes, we all looking forward to get to Mauritania, uh, yeah. from the MBBC point of view. Uh, it has been too long. And the last time we saw was in, was in, uh, in February last year mm -hmm. at the G5 yeah. Sahel summit. Um, yeah. And that's a long, long, long time. <laughs> yeah, it's really long time. Um, I I like to end with my really great thanks, you know, and personal and on the MBBC behalf for your contribution, and we hope Thank to you. see you in June 
in one. Insha. 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 Insha Allah. Thank you. Thank you, really. Thank you for everybody. Thank you for you, Peter, and, and, and all the participants. Uh, we can uh, so to see you uh, maybe uh, next time in Makshad. Inshallah. Yes. Hi. Inshallah. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.